Well, Jacob, your league debut for the Shrimps Day, a 0 0 draw at Wimbledon. Tough game? Um, yeah, I think second half they really came out and pressed us, played with a high intensity. Um, so we really had to kind of dig in and uh, keep that clean sheet, which we managed to do. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't go and nick a goal down the other end, but I think we'll take that point and then go again Tuesday. We've been following you obviously for a long time and all season. The, 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 team, the team looks more solid with you and Anthony O'Connor there than it has done in previous times. Um, I don't know about that. I think against uh, Doncaster second half, the team showed uh, their quality and class um, to come back from 3 0 down and win 4 3. So I don't know if it's to do with me, but I think uh, the team is just playing well at the moment. It's probably that confidence they've got from that Doncaster game and then that performance against. Spurs, where we can kind of come to a place like this, second half under a lot of pressure, and kind of not uh, not break down. It was a game of few chances today, so you had to defend well, didn't you? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think they had many clear cut. I think Trevor had one from the set piece, um, and then they hit the bar as well, which was a bit fluky. But um, yeah, it was a, it was a tight game, um, like every every league game is in this league. So. I think um, the team defended well, we dug in and we, we take that point. Looking at your start for the Shrimps, uh, to make your debut away at Spurs in the FA Cup third round, that wasn't a, a bad start was it? No, no, it was surreal. Um, as, a, as a London boy as well, I grew up three or four miles from, from the ground, so um, yeah, it was really special. I had my family there, a few of my friends, so yeah, they, they enjoyed their day out and, and I did too. 60 minutes last week, a full game today, are you feeling stronger as the weeks go on? Yeah, I think um, I hadn't played 90 in a while since I, uh, since I came in here. I think the tempo of the Spurs game was obviously uh, very high. Um, and then I tweaked a few things uh, leading up to the game, kind of uh, food intake wise and, and drinks wise, um, to try and, try and help my body through the 90 minutes, which worked today. So I just keep that up, I'll be fine. Two big games ahead now at home this week Wigan and Wickham, two different tests and two big tests for you. Yeah, of course they're going. They're going well in the league, but I think, uh, like we showed last week against a, a top team, we can more than match them. And um, every game in this league is going to be tight. It's going to be competitive. We're in the same league for the for a reason. Do you know what I mean? So we'll go down. We'll try and win the game. Is it nice to be playing back in the league again, away from the under 23s? Yeah, it is. Um, I think with the fans back in as well, because obviously last season there was no fans in. Um, so. So the atmosphere today was good, even though it was against us. It still makes the game a lot more, a lot more fun and enjoyable to uh, kind of have the fans and the atmosphere going again. And finally, how have you settled in with the rest of the boys? Um, yeah, it's a great bunch of lads. Um, there's a lot of banter flying about. Um, they're trying to make me sing uh, my initiation song, but I haven't, haven't remembered quite yet, so I'm going to keep that one quiet. Um, but yeah, it's a good bunch of lads. And, um, the second off the season should be good. But it won't be quiet now once you've heard this on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't listen to <laughs> Just get Greg Lee and uh, Shane McLaughlin in the background, he'll be alright, or Ryan McLaughlin even. Yeah, I'll get them dancing, clapping and all that, and uh, hopefully it'll be alright. <laughs>